Transcendental meditation. That that uh, that cult cult recovery guy. He was a victim of that. Um, so yeah, you can get tra traumatized with the transcendental meditation cult. Okay. And the divine light mission. The what? Divine light mission. Divine light mission. Yeah. That sounds Mission. new age. What's new age? Is new age polytheism? I don't know, but then we got Zen Buddhism. Oh, Zen Buddhism. That's that. That's probably polytheism. Where's for the fat guy? And the chilling social of America. Soka Gakai. That's a good one. Yeah, that's definitely polytheism. I have to look into that one. And the children of God slash family of love. That's pagan. The Christian Foundation. That's pagan. The local church. Yeah, that's pagan. Way International and the Unification Church. That's satanic. Alright. <laughs> pagan <laughs> as polytheistic. Yeah, that's satanic. Besides these 13 groups, we have had a consideration of two groups rarely encountered by anti-cultists, cultists, but but we nevertheless have made an impact on the cult problem because of the general cultural fear of them. Witchcraft and you know, Satanism. These groups are discussed under five headings, communal, psychic, magical, eastern, and Christian. Ooh, psychic. So witch, witchcraft is kind of a combination of polytheism and paganism. Because you're like yeah. kind of working with a lot of different forces and spirits and energies, but then you're kind of getting a little bit pagan too. You get a little bit pagan, you get a little bit polytheistic, you know, you, you make things happen, you, you know, you mix your cauldron, you know. <laughs> Cult Awareness Hour? I've been waiting for this one. How many of the communal groups that have survived into a second generation abandoned communal living? The Mormons. Communal living, huh? The Mormons. The Mormons. The Mormons. Oh, <laughs> dang Mormons. I think that's time to start a new clip.